Thursday already. Let's get right into the news. We got a lot of stuff to talk about today. I wish. What? Okay. Who boy. Okay. Uh, first up, just a quick notification sort of thing. Uh, if you had this, if you recognize this class armor, it, it changed in Scarlet Sorceress changed into Blood Sorceress. So you need to go, if you're above level 50, go to the place where you get Blood Sorceress. I don't know the name offhand. I'm sure you know it if you've got the class, of course. Uh, there's a quest in the first room uh, to upgrade it to back the Scarlet Sorceress, and then you got to re-rank it up. Uh, they did that for... I don't know why they did it. Waste your time and their time. Uh, so yeah, that's the thing. So if you're if you, yeah if you had this class equipped and you're wondering why it's doing less damage, that is why. All right. So A ranks basically said this was a monthly package. I not hundred percent confirm it's a monthly package, but yeah. Uh, so that's a cape. It's fully CC. I asked him what it, if it was for the monthly, monthly package. He said it was, unless Elena wants to use it for something else. So yeah. Uh, and this, these are normally themed, he even said in a reply to this, that they're normally themed after the theme for that month. So this might lead you to believe what the theme would be for next month. Pretty interesting. I'm interested in it. I don't think that hair is done yet. I'm not too sure. That hair looks a little weird, but uh, it looks really cool. Uh, it seems like he does... Uh, a criticism I have for this is it seems like he does a lot of the same fabric look on every single one of his armors. And it, I think this armor would look a lot nicer if it didn't have the two side pieces or just none of the that right there. Uh, but yeah, that's that's about my only complaint with this. It looks really cool. The cape's cool and it's color custom. Uh, so this might be the high tier version of the package. Alright, Hero Mart has new items, new t-shirts. Uh, they look decent. I wouldn't buy the one that has those two different ones. One has, like, the whole thing on the back. I mean, maybe if you want to wear that, like, as pajamas or just, like, in your house lounging about. I want to wear that in public, personally. But this one I would. Because uh, you can't really read what it says on the back. So, yeah, I like that one a bit better. Now, these do come with blades. So, we got this blade and... This blade, uh, yeah, seasonal rarity, AQW. So I guess the shirt's seasonal and that makes the blade seasonal, uh, which would make sense. So these are like Deja's birthday shirts. Pretty cool idea, I like the idea of it. The blade in game though, I dislike with a with a passion, because I'm passionate about the good looking AQW items. Uh, now the art for this is AQ3D art, if, if you haven't if you weren't able to tell by now. And what they did is, if you look closely at the uh, the edges on this, you can see it's plain as day. Uh, if you can't see, you might want to ask, ask your eye doctor or maybe turn the resolution of the video up to 1080p. Uh, you can see the white on it all along the edge. You can see where it was cut out. Uh, yeah, so they just they took it out of AQ3D and just plopped it into AQW and that's your reward for buying the Legion t-shirt. I mean, I guess they could have just gave you Hero Mart points and for some people that would be worse. Although for me personally, I take Hero Mart points over this and that's that's saying something. <laughs> that is definitely saying something. Uh, the back looks... You can see where the eraser tool was used in the back and there's kind of a blue glow there that isn't like fully... Trend this is terrible. Let's move on. Enough of this negativity. Oh, hey, look. What is this? A Legion sword that doesn't look like it's 144p. A racer tooled. Okay, wow. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, this, is, of course, is from Z, uh, at Z underscore AQ on Twitter. The link will be in the description if you want to go follow him on Twitter or check out some of his other art on his account. I would recommend it. Uh, very badass looking Legion blade. Now, I, I don't always have a spike on the back of it. I mean, maybe if you want to hit someone with the yeah, the bottom of it. But other than that, it looks really good. I mean, the scribbling on it is a little weird, but very nice blade from Z. Uh, Z is also working on a Legion armor, and it looks like there's a dual version of the blades. Now, I don't know if these blades will ever show up in game. Sometimes Z makes stuff that's just for fun. Uh, this could be just for fun, or this might go into the game. We will see. Uh, looks very nice on the armor, although you can tell the armor, of course, is a work in progress. 
And that's all the news we have for this week. I do this video every Thursday, a news video on this channel every Thursday. There is nothing. If I miss something, please tell me in the comments. I hope I missed something because there's nothing. Uh, then you normally send out an email that normally comes out on Friday now. It used to come out on Thursday. So I, and there's normally a little extra in the email uh, that I would like to highlight. But uh, that comes out on Friday. So maybe I'll talk about that on the stream tomorrow. Uh, Elena will probably put up some Adventure Quest news right after I upload this video on her Twitter. So <laughs> might want to check that out. Uh, maybe or I'll tweet about it. My Twitter is linked in the description. Uh, so this, I do have two more things to talk about. This uh, armor was on Reen's character page, so it is 100% in the game. Really excited for this. One of the items I'm more excited about. Uh, and also, Lucky's, uh, the Lucky event, the St. Patrick's Day event, should be returning tomorrow also. And with that, a new mini game, Smack a Mac Eye. Of course, no RNG needed. 100% amounts of doubt. As much as we're going to have no uh, random numbers. Uh, also, people pointed out that he's wearing a green version of the Legion Titan. Of course, I saw that, but I didn't point out because I, I don't know. I don't know why they would release a green version of Legion Titan. And if you stay to the very end, I do have a special little bit of news for you. Here's a picture of what might be for April Fools. Of course, April is coming up. They always do an event or something for April Fools in Official Quest Worlds. Uh, one time they turned all of Battle on into a pixelated version of Battle on, which was really cool, like an 8-bit version. Um, that was probably my favorite one. That's what that's the first thing that comes to mind when I think of the April Fools events. I think last year it was uh, pretty lackluster. I can't even remember what they did last year, so it probably wasn't that good. Now we now those googly eyes on this rainbow. Now this rainbow could be for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, it would make sense thematically, but this also could be for April Fools because they made a uh, collab bog that had googly eyes on it. This has googly eyes on it. Maybe it'll be like a googly eyes themed event for for April Fools. That would make sense. That'd be cool. I like it. some more helmets with googly eyes. Would be cool. Stuff like that. Uh, so we might see that debatable. Uh, this was on uh, someone's character page, and I took the image and uh, saved it on my computer. So it's not on the character page anymore, or else I would show you it on the character page. But yeah, it's a brand new item, and it was there. So that is all the news we have for this week. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel. We do a video like this every Thursday where I go through all the news for Adventure Quest Worlds. And yeah, we'll be live streaming the brand new event, the Smack and Mac Eye mini game with the whatever quests. Or hopefully, they do quests more like two uh, this Friday. And I'll see you guys then tomorrow on the live stream around three o'clock server time. You can check your server time by going settings, and right behind my webcam or below it should be the server time. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one. Peace.